So after you've seen the examples, now it's time for you to practice carrying out a chi-squared test for a dihybrid cross. So here we have a practice chi-squared test for a dihybrid cross. You have uh, fruit flies here, Drosophila, and you have two different body colors. You have the wild type body color and the ebony, and then you have the wild type eye color versus the sepia eye color. So something to note here is that wild type is always dominant to either ebony in terms of body color or sepia in terms of the eye color. So just like the previous example, um, we went through this cross above and the offspring in the F1 generation were all wild type body and eye color heterozygous for both traits. So in the F2 generation, we go ahead and cross these wild type for both body and eye color heterozygous for both. So what we're looking for here is, is there a significant difference between the observed and the expected ratios? Are the traits for the body and the eye color linked or unlinked? So for that, we would need to know what the observed offspring were. You yourself are gonna to need to calculate what you would have expected, but the observed offspring, there were a total of 220, and here is the data for them. Given that information, carry out a chi-squared test for this dihybrid cross and conclude whether there is a significant difference between the observed and expected ratios and whether the traits for body and eye color are linked or unlinked.